Hey guys, and welcome to Captain Charlemagne's Models. I'm your Captain Charlemagne, so let's head over to the bench and see what we're doing for today's project. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today, we are going to be continuing on our Federation class, Dreadnought, USS Indomitable. So, after what feels like a week or more, and being sick, you will be today working on the upper superstructure. So, like in the last video when I showed you guys the lower um, saucer section, sorry, not superstructure, I showed you her damage and we attached the neck and did a, I think, worked on the pylons. So what we did over the, this, before I got sick, was we worked, we went ahead and we painted the um, thrusters <coughs> and, and pulse thrusters, I believe it, they're called. And we also worked on her um, phaser emitter pods or whatever. So something that did come in, and I thought I'd show you guys then, was her um, decals from G cows and I do believe they came out very well. I did attach one of them already to the lower saucer section, although, so I'll show you, although I will admit I didn't notice I made the mistake until after it was done. As you can see, we did the decals on the lower one, but I kind of put them a little too far over compared to where they should be. The dash should be right in front of the um, emitter. I didn't realize I made that mistake until after till I got home, mainly due to the fact that I was being rushed off the bench to go and do something at the time. And well, I used um, setting solution to help get it to stick down, this mark fit stuff. And so what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be continuing with her. And I do apologize for any noise in the background. I have a crying dog. So what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be not only adding on her name, although if how this looks, I'm part of the um, one of the twos for her thing will be um have to most likely be cut off because where the damage here on the hull is, is in a spot where the um, number's going to go. So we will find that out here in a minute, and we will also be adding on the um, decals here in these little squares. So, what do you guys say we get started? So first thing we're going to be doing today is we are going to be adding on these squares since they are the part that has the most work needed to be done to them. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video or not, but October 6th and the week going on after it, there will be no updates on the channel. That's mainly due to the fact of that I shall not be here. Um, hold on one second. Give me a moment. I got to go grab some water to put in a thing. I'll be right back here. So as I was saying, before I had to run off real quick to get some water for the um, decals, I will be gone for a period of a week. That's because I'm going on a road trip to visit several museums. Well, um, and all of which I think would be 
break to bring on to the channel. So what I'm going to be doing over that course of that week is I'm going, when I visit the museums, I'm not only going to be taking pictures, I am going to be exploring the museums and recording it. That way, uh, paper towel, that way as we go through them, we can uh, there's not enough space on this desk. That way you guys can see them after the ex over the course of October, which I think would be cool. So amongst the places that are going to be visited, one of them is going to be the USS Yorktown CV-10. Another is also right there at Patriots Point. It is the USS Laffey. I may visit the USS North Carolina. I'm still in debate on her, if I should visit her or not. Um, let's see. I'm still in debate whether I want to... Um, head over to Norfolk and see the Wisconsin. The reason why I say I'm in debate is because I've been thinking about possibly going and to the Civil War Museum up in Vicksburg and visiting that museum, I do believe that is where the remains of the USS Cairo are. And then finishing out the trip with a visit to the Naval Aviation Museum up in Pensacola, Florida. But I would I do believe that'd be an interesting thing to show on the channel, a visit to these museums. So over the course of October, like I said, it will be all brought on to the channel. All right, number two now. And also, something I realized is we are cl quickly closing in to 300 subscribers. So we, last I checked, were at 287. And once, oops, oh, can't use that one. Hopefully I don't need it. So once we reach 300, what my plan is, is we are, of course, going to be doing the Heller um, Le Superb 1 in 150 kit, because as I said, that was going to be the plan for the 300 subscriber special, and I am not changing my mind on that. While... There is still kind of issues going on around Invincible. The Le Superb is not changing mainly because that's a 74 gun frigate, and not frigate, ship of the line, and I do not have a model of a 74 gun ship of the line. 
I have a frigate, and I have the Napoleon, but I do not have a 74 gunner, and well, I am not changing my mind on that. And I forgot to set the decal solution on here before I set that, so we're going to have to just, oops, 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 oops. We're going to have to get this off the thing real quick. And I do apologize for all the sniffling. I am still getting over my cold. And I seem to have just misplaced my scissors. Which is weird since I just used them. Hold on one second here. So they're still here. Okay, I found them. Sorry about that. I had to locate the scissors. That's important. Don't want to be trying to wet the whole thing. I'll make the job slightly easier and also make it harder with pulling each of these off. Another thing I've been doing is I'm sure you guys have noticed the short recently that I published of a wood model, that being of HMS Victory. So that kit I'm working on is a little inexpensive one I found on Amazon. And the reason I've been working on it is I really want to get into wood models. However, because I don't have as much experience as I would like, and most wood model kits are like that, I decided to experiment with the Victory. And well, it's not been a very good experience. It's been a headache, but it's good in the sense that it's a learning experience and I do enjoy me a good learning experience. see just move a few things off this desk see if I can't open up a bit more room for us to have to work on
right? And we are slowly getting there. on and turn this real quick so we can get to the back side here we got a few more all right One thing about these decals, they definitely come off a lot easier than some other decals, and they're not causing as much problems as some other ones do. Those ones are made. I set something down and it wants to disappear on me. Um, give me one second here. I just need a drink of my drink. All right. Okay, there they are. All right. Back to building. All right.
can't. One thing about trying to get exact decal placements for some of this stuff, you never realize just how almost strenuous it kind of feels. I'll never understand that. I'll turn this around so I can get back here to the back. done. We're going to continue here around the back end. That one's on. Phew. 
I'll be honest with you guys, decal placement, not, not really that fun. There we go. Got the broken one all set up now. I think I might have lost one of my little red squares. I'll have to locate that later or see if I can't find it later because I think it might be on the floor somewhere and it take too long to try and locate something that small at least in my opinion at least all right go that's another one down And last little red square we have for the day. Let's go ahead and we can set it on. Here. There we go. And that's all our little red squares. All added on. I'll have to see if I can't locate that one later. Because we do not. We are missing one for the saucer. But they are all on. Now is... Hold on one second. Gotta move something from the thing. There we go. So what we're going to be doing now 
is we are going to add on her registry. So first registry we're going to add on is her name, which it goes here above her um, phaser emitter. So that's that. And our scissors are right here. And we are going to carefully cut out her name from this big piece of Go. Now we just gotta cut off that smaller one right here so I can get to the actual name of the vessel. this in half. The reason why I'm cutting this in half is because this um, decal is actually slightly larger than what I actually need it to be. Um, so, don't get in the water. So the USS part will go right here on the saucer with the S, second S, slightly behind where I actually need it to be at. So here. Roughly is where it is. So the name goes. First part of the name goes. Then we're going to layer another bit of this Mark Strong on top of it. We're going to lightly dab it. So, next we will need her actual name. So, the, so next it'd be this, and I'm slightly lower down than I need to be for the Mark Strong. Hopefully it hasn't set. It has not. That's good for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to raise it slightly. Uh, Right here. To right here. And then the N for indomitable. So the in between will be here, in between the I, N and D of her name. All right. And even if we have just a little bit too much area covered for the name, at least it's better than having 
nothing at all. go right there and voila USS Indomitable is now on now, we're going to conclude today's video by putting on the NCC 2122 part of her registration. So, same thing as we did before, carefully cut her name out from the part. There we go with that. Just cut off all this excess unneeded. Backing here like so and we're going to test this real quick so the line goes right here it goes down here and yes we are going to indeed have to get rid of the second two because the second two literally sits right on top of the um damage so sadly we gotta cut her cut it out which is partially on me because I didn't notice when I set that on there where I was setting it but we'll have the rest of the ship to tell us exactly her full designation Dunk. sit on here as straight as we can get it down and like so to let it curve. So, and 
it down. For the last piece of her decal. And again, I apologize. I guess the dog wants to go out. Sadly, the gate, our yard ain't closed, so I'll have to take him out as soon as I finish this. Alrighty then, got it. And her thing should go here. Uh, oh, it seems like more than I thought actually is stuck on this in the damage section with just that one part. So I'm going to have to carefully scratch out the second two also. So what I'm going to have to do real quick, set it back on the foil real quick. Grab my scissors. That said, I kind of was happy that it was going to have at least one of the twos. And... Actually, I might be able to get part of at least the one, two on there, just not all of it. Okay. There we go. Let's see real quick, how much of this two can I get into it before? So I would need to cut at least a majority of that two off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if by cutting it in half, that will help get at least some of the one two in real quick. took a little bit too much of that two out because now it just looks weird just having that one two kind of setting like it is.
There we go. Well, it looks better than it did. So, as you can see, her name and her registry are added on. And that's going to conclude what we are doing on today's episode of our Federation Clash Dreadnought USS Indomitable. So, I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. I hope you have a nice day, a nice week, and take care of yourselves, and I shall see you all again here fairly soon. This has been Captain Charlemagne, and I'm signing off. Ta-ta for now, everyone.